Hello and welcome back to SciTitech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an Arduino Uno as a VU meter, and I'm going to combine the Arduino with an LM386 microcontroller, which is an audio amplification circuit, to be able to hear the audio. Let's get started. <laughs> To make this project, you're going to need these jumper cables, these alligator clips, and an LM386 audio amplifier to be able to hear this project. You're also going to need a 1000 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, a 220 ohm resistor. You're also going to need a 2 watt 8 ohm speaker, an audio jack, And you're going to need an Arduino Uno, which I've already pre-programmed, and down in the description below I have the code. And you're also going to need this breadboard with these resistors that are 100 ohms, and you're going to need four green LEDs, three yellow LEDs, and three red LEDs. A closer look of the resistors and LEDs, you can see the resistors are connected to the anode of the LEDs and the cathode of the LEDs are connected to the negative rail. A quick test by applying 5 volts to each of the resistors and to see if the LEDs are lighting up correctly and to see if the position of the color of the LEDs are correct. Next I need to connect my LEDs to the Arduino by using jumper cables to connect them between pin 2 to 13. Now I have my jumper cables ready and I'm going to go ahead and connect them between pin 2 to 13. Just like this. And there we go, it should look just like this. Next, I need to take a negative jumper cable and connect that to ground of the Arduino, and then connect it to the negative rail of the breadboard, which will connect all of the cathodes of the LEDs. Next, I need to take a positive jumper cable and connect that to 5 volts of the Arduino. And from 5 volts of the Arduino, connect to the positive rail of the breadboard. Next, you're going to need to take a jumper cable and connect that to analog zero on the Arduino. Just like this. Next, you're going to take your audio jack, and you're going to want to use an alligator clip and connect the analog zero to the positive of the audio jack. Next, I'm going to take another alligator clip and connect the negative of the audio jack and connect it to the negative of the breadboard. Next, I'm going to take these two jumper cables that are connected to my lab bench power supply, and I have the lab bench power supply set to 5 volts, and I'm going to power this circuit with 5 volts. Just like this. There we go, the LEDs are just flickering randomly because it has no audio input, so it's just going to flicker randomly. So I have my phone right here, and I'm going to go ahead and test it out by plugging it into my phone. As you can see, the LEDs are off because it's plugged into the phone, waiting for an audio source. And there you have it. The LEDs are now reacting to the audio that's in my phone. So now you can see the audio, but you can't hear the audio. The only way to be able to hear the audio is using the LM386 audio amplifier. As you can see, the LM386 is now on my breadboard, and this right here is the schematic to make this audio amplifier circuit. Next, I'm going to take my 1000 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, and I'm going to connect the negative to pin 5. Positive wire to the positive pin of the electrolytic capacitor, to an alligator clip, and then to the positive of the speaker. Next, I'm going to connect pin 4 to ground. Another jumper cable to pin 4, to an alligator clip, and then the alligator clip to the negative of the speaker. Next, I'm going to take my 220 ohm resistor, and I'm going to connect it to pin 2 and 3. Just like this. Next, I'm going to take a jumper cable and connect pin 2 to ground.
Take another jumper cable and connect pin 6 to the positive. Next, I'm going to connect two jumper cables on pin 2 and 3 of the LM386 microcontroller. There we go, just like this. Next, I'm going to take the jumper cable that's connected to pin 2 and connect it to the alligator clip. And from the alligator clip, we'll connect to the positive of the audio jack. And it should look just like that. Next, I'll take the jumper cable that's connected to pin 3 and connect that to another alligator clip. And this alligator clip will connect to the negative of the audio jack. There we go, and it should look just like this. Okay, so now everything is now connected and everything is ready to go. Let's go ahead and test it out. successful audio amplification circuit so you'll be able to hear the audio coming out of the speaker and from the source of the audio all connected to the Arduino and the Arduino displaying the VU meter of these LEDs. And there you have it. Now you learned how to make a VU meter circuit with using an Arduino Uno and an audio amplification circuit to work with the Arduino at the same time. So there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTi Tech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTi Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.